Now hello guys, my name is Dan and welcome back to another video of mine. So yeah, basically today, you guys have read it by the title, we're going to be flying an X-Plane um, with an Xbox controller. Now is this going to be feasible? I don't really know. Um, it's probably going to end very badly. As you guys know, um, X-Plane, you're supposed to use a joystick or, or a yoke, you know, the, the actual flight stuff. Um, not an Xbox controller. So this would be very interesting. I found out that it actually worked. Now like for example, if if we use this part of the controller to pan around you can actually you can actually like move it basically like for example if we look at the yoke just pull it's very sensitive very sensitive if we pull this little bit down so we can look at the yoke if I if I like it's a bit like when you play GTA it's a similar sort of concept to that if we turn this little stick right the yoke's gonna turn right and if we turn it left it's gonna turn left the only thing is if we go down a little bit and look at the rudder pedals, this controls, this, the, the trigger buttons control the rudder pedals. So that will be very interesting. I don't know how to gain speed. So as you guys can see, um, it says uh, Xbox One S controller. Apparently that's what we're using. When we're not, we're using the Elite controller thingy, but I'm assuming that's just what it's going to be. Okay, we've got to recalibrate now. I've changed everything back. So let's just play with the buttons a little bit. Okay, and now that that's done, we can actually attempt to fly it with a... Uh, with an Xbox controller, let's see how this actually, let's see how this goes, it's gonna be interesting. Um, so I don't actually know how we can make the throttle go up. Let's see if, I don't, I don't know what kit, we can't use like the same sort of things as you would on GTA. So let's just use our handy mouse which we have here. We'll have to use the mouse for some things actually. But let's go ahead and turn the parking brake off. Yeah, we need some flaps. How do we, how, yeah, let's add some flaps. Flap, flaps, 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 flaps. Okay, we're going up the runway, so this is a start. Let's just pull back. Let's just pull back. And there we have it. Oh, positive rate. Gear up. Thank you very much. So we're up. Let me switch cameras, actually. It's very sensitive. The camera jolts around all over the place. I don't really want to go into the clouds. I kind of want to try and land it now that we're up. But I feel like that's going to be a very difficult task, considering we don't actually have control over our throttle. So maybe the autopilot will be our best friend with regards to this. Okay, we're going very fast. Let's just try and flick these switches on very quickly. Let's, let's just... Uh... Let's just land at this. Hopefully the auto throttle will work. <laughs> oh my god. Look at where we're going. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and uh, let our gear down. And we should also add some flaps. That might be a good idea. Let's add some flaps. Hopefully the auto throttle works. Um, this would actually be really cool if we can land it. I'll actually be very surprised. Um, obviously, we're going to test a few aircraft. This is actually much easier than I thought it would be. I mean, it's very sensitive and it doesn't actually work that great. There are, there's, there are some controls that don't actually work. But at this rate, if the auto throttle works, we should be able to land uh, this uh, 737. Well, our gear's out. So if we uh, butter with an Xbox controller, I'm just a straight up legend. Okay, here we go. 50, 40. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> no way. We need to watch that in the replay. That was actually very smooth. I'm very impressed. Although, um, I don't know how to stop. So, let's just, let's just forget the stopping part. Okay, so now we're back in the replay mode. But the window wipers are sort of slightly stuck. But let's ignore that. As you can see, we basically had, like, no flaps. But that's amazing. That's cool. That just adds to it, I guess. <laughs> no way. Touchdown zone as well. That was well all right. Look at the center line on that. Yes, this is Gatwick. No surprise. I do a lot of uh, filming at Gatwick on my channel. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and try and fly and land another aircraft. Let's go to Rhodes. Actually, I'm flying to Rhodes in like a couple days. So let's just go to that airport for the fun of it and use that as our mess around airport today. Okay, and now we are in. Um, we are at Rhodes. In this uh, very glamorous looking A220. Um, yeah, as you can see, the cockpit is very freeware. Very, very beautiful uh, little freeware plane. <laughs> Only thing is, we have the exact same problem as we had before, and we can't actually take off with anything. Like, I don't know what keys to do. I could look, but I really can't be asked. So let's go ahead and throttle up. <laughs> look at... Oh my god. Look at the throttle in this thing. I don't know if that's how it is in real life. But Jesus Christ. So it's like as thin as a pencil. That throttle would snap if you push that. Oh, okay. Well, apparently we can't actually do that. So we're going to have to go into... We're going to have to go and see, like, what settings mean what, actually. So, um... F1 and F2, it said. Apparently the camera gets stuck in this position. It's really weird. Let's go ahead and increase the throttle. Yeah, let's do that. Well, nothing's happening. 
Um, yeah, we can't. Why can't we go? I just want to fly. I've got an idea. Let's just um, use this very handy dandy mode of um, clicking on our aircraft, increasing the speed to 150 knots, and we're still stuck. Okay. Let's just try and figure out what this panel does. Obviously, this is the autopilot panel. Let's just see if we can... Um, I mean, we can't click, like, the flight directors or anything. Let's see if we can... Go! Oh! Oh, ho, ho! We figured it out. We figured it out. We figured it out. Okay. We're on the move. We're actually doing it this time. Let's just rotate here. I think we'll come off the floor. <laughs> I think we need more speed. Yeah, we need a lot more speed. More speed. More speed. More speed. I can't... Go, 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 go. We made it. We're up. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we made it. Let's try and turn this bad boy around and land it back at Rhodes while the camera's glitching around like it is. Let's just take it this time. Let's just, let's, yeah, let's just put it that way. That's probably the best way to put it. It's um very hard to steer. Let's use the rudder, actually, to see if that works. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, here we go. We're about to touch down, although we're actually a very off center um but we can try and turn it last minute and see if that works i guess it's just we, yeah yeah we're way too fast we're going about 200 knots right now it's fine let's just pretend there's ryanair on the tail absolutely and yeah oh uh, yeah definitely ryanair on that one ready and up the road we go oh geez rip car rip plane are we gonna crash <laughs> so yeah after all of that tire blown you blew one or more tires it's not like an engine would have fallen off or not. And on that note, let's try something a little bit faster. Uh, yeah, just, just a little bit. We are in a uh, much faster aircraft. I'll let you guys guess the aircraft in the comments, actually. Let's close the canopy, as you can see. That just closes on us. Thank you very much. We're now protected from a lot of wind. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Okay, and now the throttle actually works on this one, which is a good thing. So let's go ahead and press the keys, which we aligned the uh, throttle to be. Being this one, as you can see, it's going up. 150 knots. Yep, okay, and let's rotate. Lovely step. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, that's very sensitive. Oh my life. Now, actually, in a couple of days, when I go to Greece, um, to Rhodes itself, I'm standing in a place called Falaraki, which is literally, like, just over there, basically. Anyway, let's go ahead and try and land this. As you guys can see, we are... Um, <laughs> going very fast and using a lot of um, fuel right now. Let's slow this plane down. So let's cut the throttle and put the gear out. I say, yep, yeah, that's always a good thing. Now, I haven't given us enough time to slow down, I don't think. Okay, oh, let's try set ourselves on a three nautical mile approach. Where's the flaps? Where's the flaps in this thing? Flaps, 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 flaps. Forget about the flaps. 400 feet. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Have we got the gear out? I think it's out. Should be. Come on. Oh my god, we were so close. Oh! We're down! We're down! Brakes, 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 brakes! Well, isn't that just great? Now, I, I, this thing actually lags out my PC a lot. As you can see, we are in a hovercraft, and I don't know where my FPS goes with this. <laughs> Okie dokie! Right, we're on the runway. We are in our hovercraft. hey oh, Look at us! Woo! I guess you could successfully say uh, you can drive a hovercraft with an Xbox controller. Apparently blew a tire, but this thing has no tires, and now we're drifting. And on that note, that is the end of this video. Um, yeah, it was interesting. Um, turns out you can successfully fly planes with an Xbox controller, just not that well. Ready? Drum roll. Subscribe. <laughs> That's all for this video, guys. And until then, I will see you guys in the next one.